Hey guys, welcome back to Matlock's Toy Room Reviews. And as you can see, I have the very, very awesome and very big Sentinel, which is the Build-A-Figure. <clears throat> Finally got this thing complete. Uh, first off, just got Cyclops in here to, to show you a size comparison. And as you can see, he barely goes above the knee. But uh, I measured this, and I'm not sure the official size, but he's right at 16 inches so as you can see the this is a 12 inch ruler and and it's just right at the middle of his chest so definitely a huge bath this is bigger than I thought it was because I'd, I'd never really seen how big it was so uh, definitely huge you got the uh, standard 6 inch Cyclops there just goes above his knee it's very cool and uh so he's got one of his tentacles. I'll show you the other tentacle up close real quick. It's just got this little white tab that uh, pegs into the, the yellow hole on his hand, which I'll show you up close here in just a second. But uh, very cool. A lot of nice little detail on there. And it's all bendy, so you can uh, warp it to whatever position you want. You can wrap people up and hold them with it if you want. Whatever. But uh, I had to back the camera up because this thing is so big, so I can't really get it all on camera up close. But uh, just so you show you some of the detail in here. Not sure if you're going to be able to see this on camera, but he has some pretty cool little uh, green eyes. Which I can't tell if they're just painted green. Yeah, I think they're painted green. I couldn't tell if it was actually like a, a clear translucent green in there. Plastic or not, but... Uh, very cool. I'm sure most of you guys have already seen this because this is definitely the best Build-A-Figure as far as I'm concerned and definitely my favorite toy that I own to date. But uh, just all the great little paint detailing and everything. Just give you an overview up close. It's very cool. Yeah, I'm a little excited about this guy. This guy is uh, a little overwhelming. It's a lot more than I expected. He's got these really cool shoulder pads, which are like a soft rubber to cover up his wires with and stuff, which is very cool. And uh, he's fully articulated. I'm not going to go through all the articulation, but uh, you know, he's got ball jointed shoulders. He's got swivel, uh, double jointed elbows, turn at the wrist. He's actually got a ball jointed wrist. He's got individual finger articulation, which is great. And uh, here's the hole that I was telling you about. That's where the tentacle pegs into right there. He's got one on each hand. The other one, of course, has the tentacle in it. And uh, his thumb is articulated as well. So, very cool. And uh, a lot of his joints have uh, the ratchets in them, so they make that terrible ratchet noise. But it's kind of cool, so they hold their position pretty well. This has got a nice uh, torso movement there ball jointed hips and double jointed knees and his feet do uh, pivot just a little bit but not a lot but I mean you're really really not going to put him in too many crazy poses where you really need to so it's not really an issue but uh, very cool I love the uh, just one of my favorite little parts about this is just the little abdomen plates so it's really cool looking He's got all the exposed wires in the back. He's just got these like armor platings here, which is really cool looking. But I just can't express how much I love this figure. It's definitely awesome. Bottom of the feet got a little bit of detail on there. I mean, they went all out on this figure. This is amazing. Give you another overview of the figure. Just very awesome. If you guys haven't picked this set up to get this, definitely do so. Um, it's very cool. Very cool. But uh, one little thing to add. I have the lower torso, and I'm wanting to build a second one. I have a, a really cool project in mind, so I uh, really want a second one of these guys. So if you guys have any pieces to complete this, I would really appreciate it. I will pay for shipping. I'll pay for the piece, whatever. So, uh, thanks, Sentinel. Thanks for checking it out.